hello today i'm going to show you how you can delete item from shopping cart so uh, in this video you can see here this is the cart.php in this cart we have one item now i am going to add here one delete button so i created code for that okay you have to add uh, you have to open this cart.php and you have to find this td class cart total and after that you have to paste this td in this td i type one submit button with name delete and dollar name one so this for dynamic name now and in upper side we have to write here delete code so i have this delete code not okay. You can see here. Okay, we have to write delete this. Okay, now it is perfect. Now this is for checking cookies available or not. And now this for uh, looping uh, this will loop uh, as per our uh, card items like we have three items in card then this will loop three times on that time we are going to check button press or not or if button press then which uh, which for which item this button is pressed because we have five items and we want to delete third item then this will check that uh, uh, we press the third button and then we are going to use this set cookie function if you want to add item then you have to use your plus sign but right now i am going to delete this cookie so we have to give here minus sign so this cookie will delete it after deleted uh, we are going to use uh, refresh this page so i am going to show you now i refresh this page and you can see here we get a delete button now i am going to press this delete button you can see item is deleted but this error we get on line number 264 okay line number 264 here we are getting error for total because uh, right now there is no available item then also uh, this code will try into total so we getting error so i paste this if condition then complete tag over here so now this will loop only and only if item is available in card so now there is no error okay now i am going to add item this item add uh, now again i am going to add one more item okay i have this item now i am going to add this item now i am going to run this card page and you can see we have two item here one is dollar 400 one is dollar one now i am going to and you can see here this total is dollar 401 but now i am going to delete this item so you can see item is deleted and total is also changed so this way we can delete item from card in my next video i am going to show you another thing Thank you so much for watching my video.